This is The Walk Became Lawyer, and what I have for you today is another fun episode of What the Heck Were They Thinking? What you see here is a Yale bicentric rim cylinder. It's a type of lock that I believe was introduced a little over 100 years ago. It was designed to meet the needs of large institutions, things like a university with a sprawling campus and with thousands of doors that all needed to be part of the same key system. By implementing a system with two cores in one cylinder, either one of which could open the door by itself, they allowed for a massive great grandmaster key system with little compromise to security. You're probably thinking, that all sounds great. Why did you ask what the heck were they thinking? Well, I'm going to pick one of these cores, then maybe you can figure it out. I'm going to use top of the keyway tension with this 50 thousandths thick turner and a standard hook. These are both part of the Genesis set that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. Click out of three, nothing on four, click out of five, little click on six, back to the beginning, nothing on one, little click on two, nothing on three, four is binding, nice click there. Nothing on five or six. Back to the beginning, click out of one, and we got this open. Now I'm turning the core, but note what is not turning, the tailpiece. You see, to make this so either core could open the lock, they had to decouple the tailpiece from both cores. You can see I can actually turn the tailpiece without either of the cores moving. That is very significant because whenever a core is decoupled from the locking mechanism, it creates the possibility of an easy bypass. Here, the only thing that actually moves these gears and the tailpiece is the tip of the key. It's hard for me to explain in words how terrible an idea that is, so I'm just going to show you. To do so, we're going to use the bypass driver on my covert companion going to stick that right down the keyway and you can see just how easy it is for me to open this. I believe we can do it in the top keyway as well. Yep. Okay folks, for the most part the Yale Bicentric series of locks had a competent lineup. I was actually pretty surprised to find such an egregious design flaw in this rim cylinder. A mortise cylinder would have been far more common in the commercial setting, and I know those locks don't share this flaw. I should also note that after a 100 year run, these locks were discontinued about 10 or 12 years ago. So this is only an issue on legacy systems, though there are quite a few of them out there. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.